Welcome to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. I'm so glad you could be here. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single story. Today we'll be reading Creepy Crayon. Words by Aaron Reynolds. Pictures by Peter Brown. Creepy Crayon. Words by Aaron Reynolds. Pictures by Peter Brown. Jasper Rabbit was struggling in school. He was flunking math. He was failing spelling. The only subject he was passing was art. Jasper needed serious help. That's when he found the crayon. It was purple, pointy, and perfect. And somehow, it looked happy to see him. That night, Jasper knew he had to study for his spelling test. But Tales from the Carrot Patch was on. By the time it was over, he was way too tired to study. The test was a disaster. Jasper couldn't remember how to spell a single word. That's when he noticed something strange. Jasper picked up the crayon. Immediately, he spelled all the words correctly. When he got his test back, he got an A plus and a sticker. The crayon looked pleased. Creepy, but cool. After dinner, Jasper settled in to play Bunny Brawl 3. Math homework first, said Dad. Fine, moaned Jasper. That's when he saw it, scrawled in peculiar purple penmanship. Who needs math when you have Bunny Brawl 3? Three hours later, he fell asleep. His game in one hand, the purple crayon in the other. When Mrs. Lobsher announced a surprise math quiz, Jasper panicked. He reached for a pencil, but instead his hand wrapped around the crayon. Suddenly, math seemed easy. He knew when to carry the one. He knew when to borrow from the bigger numbers. It was like the crayon knew exactly what to do. After the quiz, he saw it, written on his backpack. Jasper plus crayon forever. Jasper felt a shiver go up his spine. The next day was the deadline for the poster contest. Jasper had been working on his entry for weeks. It just needed a few finishing touches. The purple crayon rolled across the table, all by itself. But Jasper ignored it. Don't ignore me. He shuddered. He scrubbed the writing off the table. He zipped the crayon into his pencil case. He tried to forget all about the crayon. But when he woke up, his precious artwork was better than ever. It was a horrifying masterpiece in purple. Fantastic work, cried Mr. Hoppypot. You should be very proud. But Jasper didn't feel proud. He felt eked out, freaked out, creeped out. When he got home, Jasper descended into the deepest, darkest corner of his basement. He put the crayon in a dusty box. 
and locked it tight. He went to bed feeling much better. But when he woke up the next day, there, on the mirror, you need me. In his pencil case, the creepy crayon, and it looked happy to see him. That day, Jasper got all A pluses. It was terrible. Enough was enough. Jasper snapped the creepy crayon in two. He melted it in the microwave. And he threw the mess into the garbage. He drifted to sleep that night, feeling relieved. But when he woke up, there, on his wall, it was a mural of him graduating elementary school with straight A's. And worst of all, it was really well drawn. And next to it, the creepy crayon. Purple, pointy, and perfect. All day, no matter what Jasper did, the creepy crayon was there, looking oh so pleased, in his hand, as he aced his vocabulary quiz. In his pocket, as Mrs. Lobsher named Jasper most improved student. In the crowd, as the school celebrated Jasper in a special assembly. Things were spinning out of control. Jasper couldn't take it anymore. When he got home, he ran straight to the toilet. And he threw the crayon in. It just floated there, spinning slowly. It did not look happy to see him. And then Jasper saw it, scribbled inside the bowl. Don't. You. Dare. But Jasper dared. That evening, Tales from the Carrot Patch was on. But Jasper studied for his spelling test. His eyes kept darting to his pencil case. No creepy crayon. He flung the toilet lid up. No creepy crayon. He got into bed, nervously watching his walls. No. Creepy crayon. During the test, Jasper spelled ocean wrong, but he spelled courage right. He got a C plus. It was glorious. It wasn't an A, but it was his. He headed home from school that day, finally feeling free. Far, far away was an old sewer pipe. Out and away floated the purple crayon. Slowly, silently, it drifted. For days and weeks. One thing was clear. The creepy crayon would never cause trouble ever again. Except... That's when Elliot Pelican spotted the creepy crayon. It was purple, pointy, and perfect. And somehow, it looked happy to see him.
Thank you so much for joining me for Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Until next time, discover the wonder in a book. Pick one up. Take a look. For more fun stories, like and subscribe to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Thanks again.